Hi guys, here I have a little drawing regarding wiring in a hive on a Worcester combi. So the one we're doing today is this one just for heating. So you've got permanent neutral, permanent live, number one is command, two is heating off which is unused number three is heating on and number four is unused okay so you can see here you got 230 volts in which is powering your boiler then you've got 230 volts out which is your live and neutral okay for your hive so live and neutral for your hive but you're going to need a link in from live for your hot water this one you can see there's a hot water symbol that one's for your hot water you're going to need a link this other grey one is for your heating which is LR it's got a heating symbol there ok that is going to come into number 3 that is for your heating on from what you can see in the start of the video that the diagram you're going to need a link between live and one one was for command so whenever there's a demand for heating you're going to need that live current traveling from there then through the receiver it's going to travel around into number 3 Go all the way back, sends a signal back down the and comes into the boiler. The signal then comes on. The boiler then fires up for heating. So it sends a signal down the grey cable calling for heat. The, it indicates the boiler that it heats required. So it fires the boiler up. That is how you wire up a hive for a Worcester combi. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please do like, share and comment below. And only try this if you're a qualified gas engineer. And you know what you're doing with electrics. Please, please do not try this. If you're not a gas qualified engineer. And if you still don't understand. Please contact a qualified gas engineer. Thank you very much.